Are there any of you who are having trouble forming relationships with friends or co-workers? Even though it may not necessarily be difficult, there are some parts that always bother you in relationships between people. So I looked up some tips. In order to have a good relationship with others, it's important to discover their strengths and sincerely praise them at the right time. And those who coolly acknowledge their flaws are bound to receive support. Also, if you want someone to listen to you, listening to the other person first is the basic. Lastly, accepting someone else's act of kindness with a grateful heart also will make the other person happy. So in a world where we live together, I want you to keep this in mind for a happy and peaceful life for you and the people around you. So let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with Gu Seok Soon of Seventeen's Fighting Heaji, Fighting featuring Lee Young Ji. Prince, want to ask you something. What? 
What is it? Well, you know, in Korea. Oh, say no more. You know what we need? Korea Pedia. Welcome back to Radio Clock's Korea Pedia, a show you can watch and listen to at the same time. And every week we're joined by Ghost Nines, Chun Young, and Prince in the studio to tell you guys everything about Korea. So welcome back, guys. Hello. Oh. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. Um, it's been a while. It has. Yeah. How are you guys? Um, We're really good. <laughs> we heard you went to the States. Yep. Yes, I, I did. I actually have a message for you from Ryan. Oh. oh. Well, Ryan says, good afternoon, my favorite DJ of Radio Clock, Miss Ashley Choi and Ghost Nine. How are you today? Miss you so much. How was your trip in Salt Lake City? Oh, by the way, DJ Ashley, happy fifth anniversary. I have wow. a letter of your fifth anniversary as a radio DJ. I hope you read it. Wow. wow. Yeah, over the weekend, it was actually my fifth anniversary since becoming a DJ at Arirang Radio. Wow. Fortunately, uh, yeah, I was gone, but uh, thank you so much. I can't believe it's been five years. That's insane. Wow. Wow. Time flies. Bam. Thanks for everyone who's been with me since the beginning and, you know, even those who joined in the middle and are sticking to our show and continuing to show support. Uh, it really means a lot. So thank you you also salt lake city was great people are so nice there they're oh, really kind really? Oh. yeah everyone's very nice and the whole city is just surrounded by mountains like snowy mountains snowy. so it just looks like so picturesque in every angle so wow. it's a beautiful city and i want to go back one day yeah Ooh. sounds great um how are you guys though anything special special uh special. every day is special Mm. Every day is special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Trying okay. to be special. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. For You're the... special. You. I'm special. You're <laughs> special. <laughs> what is Sorry. going on Sorry. right now? <laughs> oh, also, um, I, I really missed you guys. And then also I realized how uh, I was like more, I had more gratitude towards our listeners because I tried to tune into the show while I was in Salt Lake City, but I just couldn't stay up because it's like at, it's like really late at night. That is true. And then I think it has to do with something like I was kind of jet lagged as well, but mm. it made me think like, wow, our listeners are staying up to tune into our show. Like, <sighs> I should be more grateful. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, you have your fans tuning in right now too from somewhere that's maybe like 3 a.m. or 12 a.m. or 6 a.m. And yeah, that's true. crazy. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks, our all of our listeners. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so uh, we got to tell our listeners what the topic for today is. Yep. So, Chun Young, what is today's topic? Today's topic is <laughs> traveling Korean celebrities' hometown. Whoa, hometown. traveling through Korea through celebrities' hometown. Mm -hmm. So, where did they grow up? Where were they born? What kind of food did they eat? Um, so, we'll try to find that out through Korea. <laughs> Koreapedia today. Okay. Um, when we think of hometown or koyang in Korean, there's a song about koyang. Oh, um, koyang yeah. Pom. Do you know it? Yeah, that's right. Do you know the song? Oh, uh, well, uh, okay, I'll try. It goes something like. <laughs> Like that, you gotta sing yeah. the children's um, songs like that. Is, is this like a, a dance move? No, it's not really. Like but when they do tongyos, they yeah, always like, like and uh, they ex always exaggerate their um, uh, their mouth shape. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah. you don't just say like poksungaku, you say poksungaku. <laughs> <Yeah, true. laughs> you gotta true. do that. <laughs> true. Yeah. 
I did the same. Yeah. Right. True. Okay. So you, where are your guys' hometowns? I bet you guys were super cute as kids. Ah, uh, kids. I wasn't. I was annoying. Why? Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I'm sure you guys looked uh, cute, right? Yeah. Mm. I want to see some baby pictures of you guys. Oh, I wish baby. we had some baby pictures. Yeah, we should. Well, my hometown is in Bangkok. Mm hmm. And Bangkok is known for their street foods mm. and, you know, the beautiful people. Mm. Yeah, I love Bangkok. I love it, too. <sighs> yes. And Shinyoung, your hometown was Seoul? Yeah, oh. that's right. That's mm. the street food in Bangkok. Ooh, oh, what is that called? Is it mupi? I, I think, no, that's yeah. just like some seafood skewers oh. or something. Yeah. Oh. What but is it really called good. in Thai? It's called... Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Processing. <laughs> wait, wait, processing. What is it called? <laughs> it's called... Uh, Bamuk. Yeah, Bamuk. which pro which means like uh, octopus, like stirred octopus, <gasps> oh. barbecued octopus. Oof. It's really good. Yeah, you can find that anywhere in Bangkok. That looks Any so yeah. yummy. Yes. Do you eat that with sauce or just by itself? I eat it with sauce, but mm. some people eat it by itself. What yeah. kind of sauce? Barbecue, like chili. Oh, Ooh. we're we're known for our chili sauce. So I yeah. know. Chili. I love your it's chili really sauce. Yes. I bought three bottles when I really? came back. Yes, <gasps> three so bottles. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so let's talk about some stars and their hometowns. Mm -hmm. First, we're going to talk about a BTS member, J-Hope. Where yeah. did he grow up? Yeah, his play, his hometown is Gwangju, Gwangyeokshi. Apparently, a few days ago, it was his birthday, so there was a news about many fans visiting Gwangju. Mm -hmm. Especially, there is a Hope World in Chungjangro K-pop Star Street. It is 3.2 meters high structure, which has many messages from all over the world on it. Because his birthday is February 18th, there were 21,800 messages gathered. Whoa. Whoa, that's crazy. Wait, Whoa. that looks like a like a resting place. It has benches and mm -hmm. some art. Yeah. Whoa. So Hope did World. fans make this? Uh, I have no, no yeah, idea. not sure, but that looks cool. Oh, oh wow. wow. Whoa, that's massive. Wow. That is so cool. So on on the silver monument there are messages mm -hmm. from twenty eight thousand twenty one hundred twenty one thousand eight hundred fans. Yeah, huh? <gasps> Wow, that's so crazy! Wow. It's in the uh, the messages are in English, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, uh, Arabic, Italian, Russia, <gasps> from 148 different countries. Whoa! Wow! Whoa. Yeah, J Hope is probably that town's mm -hmm. um, pride. Yeah, you know? that's true. Um, so Gwangju is known for wait, is Gwangju is Gwangju Gwangyeokshi the same as Jeollado Gwangju, or is different? <laughs> I oh, think it's the same, right? Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the same. Because yeah. my member is also from Gwangju, Gwangju oh. Gwangyeokshi, and they're really famous for their food. Oh, yeah, yes. true. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. They make their, all of the um, moms there are really <laughs> good cooks, and I can vouch for it because I've tried Junie's mom stuff and her aunt stuff, and they're all really great cooks. Yeah. And J-Hope and Junie actually went to the same academy together. Oh, oh really? The same Ooh. dance academy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Cool, cool. Well, Gwangju is also known uh, for its cultures, uh, holding one of Asia's best how do you sp how do you say that word? Biennale. Biennale. Yeah, Biennale. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year it's going to be held in April 7th. Ooh. So be sure to check it out if oh, you like April cultures. 7th. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and they're also famous for tteokgalbi. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Tteokgalbi is like um, Korean version of uh, um, what would you just call that? A chopped up beef. Ah, <laughs> like patty, patty. Patty, I guess. Burger. A patty, yeah. Pat, yeah, but instead of putting it in burgers, we just eat it, eat it yeah. as a side dish. But yeah. that is really tr truly delicious. Mm. Mm. Do you guys like kalbi better or tteokgalbi better? Ah, I like kalbi. Me too. Me too. Right? Yeah. That's kalbi. Oh. oh my goodness. It's marinated in mm -hmm. this like sweet soy sauce. I'm not sure exactly what goes in there, but <laughs> it kind of tastes garlicky. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, because a lot of Korean food has garlic in it. Mm. And you eat it with just white rice on the side oh. and kimchi. Oh, mm. perfect. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, Prince, where is the next town we'll be introducing? Well, this time we're going to introduce you guys to Son Heung Min's hometown, Chuncheon. Oh, sunny. So if you go there, you can see murals of Son Heung Min all around the city. Mm -hmm. And Chuncheon is also known for its uh, Namisom, 
mm. which is mm. beautiful all throughout the four seasons, and its village, Shille Mar Village, mm-hmm. which is also very popular nowadays. Oh. Yes. Uh, have you guys been to Damisom, the island? No, I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. Me neither. I haven't gone. <gasps> Look at those trees oh. and the colorful leaves. <gasps> is that happening right now? No, no. It's winter, yeah. Prince. Okay, I thought it's spring. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Never mind. I wish it was spring. Okay, and Chuncheon is famous for their. Yeah, Chuncheon is famous for their takgaibi. Mm. Takgaibi used to be easily to afford, so many, so that many people could eat enough with low price. So by that, takgaibi became the representative dish of Chuncheon. Mm. Oh wow! I didn't know that uh, it was more affordable and filling. Mm-hmm. Mm. I guess, so a lot of um, soldiers who came out during their breaks mm-hmm. and college students really ate uh, a, a lot, lot of takgalbi, mm-hmm. cholpan takgalbi. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like that. And of course, after you have to eat pokumbap ah. or stir fried rice. Uh-huh. That is the dessert for us Koreans. Uh, and then we'll, let's head to Daegu Gwangyeokshi. Yes. Daegu Gwangyeokshi. Uh, who are some stars from this hometown? Well, Daegu is known for having beautiful stars like Son Yejin Shi, Song Hegyo Shi, uh, <laughs> Red Velvet's Irene Nim, mm. uh, Girls Day. So Shin Nim, Momoland's Nancy, and BTS Suga and V Sunbae Nim is also from Whoa, Daegu. Whoa, oh. a lot of stars are from Daegu. Yes. Yeah. And that is true. Beautiful people are from Daegu. Yeah, Son Yejin, Song Yegyo, Irene, So Jin, Nancy, Suga, V, all very beautiful. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're famous for their apples, right? Apples. Mm. Apple, mm, true. Daegu apples. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there are like Chimek Festival and theme park called E World, which is good for a family to hang out. And also the famous music water fountain called Suseong mm. Mood. And one of the top three market in Korea called Seomun Shijang. There are so many hot places too. Oh, I would like to visit. Mm-hmm. And Daegu is famous for a dish called Daro Gukba. Ah, yeah. I haven't yeah. heard about this. Oh, really? What I is no this what dish? Is. Oh, it's Daegu beef gukbap, mm-hmm. so uh, rice soup, basically. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, because Daegu is hotter than most regions, mm-hmm. they kind of revise the ingredients to fit the tastes of uh, people of Daegu. Mm-hmm. So soup and pop, the rice come out separately, and that's why it's called taro gukbap, because ah. taro taro means like separate, mm-hmm. side by side. And yeah, okay. Interesting. Mm. Um, so have you guys tried gukbap? Oh yeah, I think I've tried it before, the taro gukbap thing. Mm, you yeah. guys, you have tried taro gukbap? Uh-huh. I have it. What is it? Is it like sogugi? Is it just rice or is it? It's, uh, honestly, it's uh, it's like a typical gukbap, but it is delicious. So <laughs> I, I Honestly, I don't know the tr- uh, real differences between other things, but yeah. it is delicious. Mm. Okay, Chompu says, There must mm. be good water. The, there must be something in the water in Daegu. Um, Tigger Shiro says, Spring flowers are coming soon, Prince. It's coming soon. Yes. Are I'm you going to go patient. see the cherry blossom trees? I hope so, yes. Oh. Seoul is very beautiful, too. You can see it everywhere in Seoul. Yeah, I think. who are you going to go with? Alone. <laughs> Alone? No. <laughs> okay, with Chunyu. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess mm. I'll go with Chunyu. <laughs> okay. I guess. You guess? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Brian says, Kalbi delivery today. Oh. Oh, I really want Kalbi, too. Me, too. Um, let's see. Brian L says, I wonder if they will build a statue of each of the members of BTS in their hometowns. Whoa. Maybe. I feel like eventually. And then Tegu's going to have two. One of Suga and V yes. since they're oh. both from the same hometown. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. So let's go check out a song. And do we have a quiz today too? And some food. Yes. Yep. Okay. We do. Ooh. So we'll be reading some of your comments and talking about some more hometowns and move on to the quiz and mukbang portion. Yay. This is BTS's Ma City. <laughs>
그래 나 죽어도 말 못해 내게 험한 금을 주고 딴 데서 라고 I k n o w things 일상 내가 죽어도 못 지고픈 건 It's the city of the flower city of morn 쉽게 떠나 fast at the western dome 어린 시절 낳기 원엔 후고 가권촌 uh. 세상에서 가장 좋아하는 곳 uh. 자연과 도시 빌딩 곳곳 uh. 한강보다 호수공원이 더 좋아 난 차가도 훨씬 포근이야 낮은 더 go 넌 내가 나를 잃는 것 같을 때 그곳에서 빛발에 오래된 날 찬. Remember 너의 냄새 또 everything You're my summer autumn with you and every spring 혼자 부산의 바다여 Say la 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 푸른 하늘 아래 this guy line Say la 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 아직 이제 손을 들어 아직 이제 손을 흔들어 Watching and listening to Arirang Radio's Radio Clock on both radio and TV right now. This is Radio Clock with Prince and Chunyang in the studio. Uh, let's see what our listeners are saying in the comments. Um, Rick Gao says, I'd want to go to Asan where he grew up. Lee Sun Shin counts as an ancient celebrity. Oh. Yes, he is. You're right, Rick. Wow. Uh, Ela says, I want to go to the city of Seoul. City of Seoul. To 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 do dum s s s s o Wait, what is that? Oh, from your song. I think it's our song. Can you do it properly? Boom 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 boom. Welcome to Seoul. This is my city. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Ryung says, "Chunyang, do back the heart. Please give yeah. us a heart outside." Wait, who was the gift from? Did they make it? But did uh, they make it themselves? N- not sure. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you to Ghosties. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, uh, so now we're going to go to another region of Korea because today we're finding out about Star's hometowns. Mm -hmm. And where are we going next, Junyoung? Yeah, next place is called Gunpo. Mm. And there are many beloved celebrities who are from Gunpo, like um, Queen of Fear Skating, Yana Kim, mm. or uh, Chaonu from Astro, mm -hmm. or Blackpink's Jisoo. Ooh. Ooh, and I didn't know how close this city was, um, but it's in Gyeonggi-do, right? Mm -hmm. And it's only right. 35 minutes away from here, like by Thir car. Oh. I just checked, so it's super close. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. Gunpo is also known for uh, Surisan, which you'll be able to see the beautiful Yasing flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe have a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. Lots of wildflowers there. Mm -hmm. And Panwar Hosu, a lake. pond, uh -huh. a lake mm -hmm. in the middle of the mountain as well. And what kind of food is Kunpo? Wow, that look at the picture. Oh, the, <gasps> uh, that is, is that Panwar Hosu? That's oh. huge. 35 that's, minutes that's away. Panwar from here. Hosu. Oh, yeah. I would like to go there. You should. Oh. You love exploring. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. And he, and he really likes um, sports, and mm -hmm. he hurt himself from climbing. <laughs> sad. Uh, yeah, so sad. he has it's a okay. big scar here because he fell while he was climbing. Bye. Be careful. I go. I, I enjoy go. it, but I like it. Okay, so, that's, yeah. that's good. Um, so, so what no. food are they famous for? Uh, they're famous for gochujang supulgui mm -hmm. and <laughs> kung tang. Kung, kung tang is quite new to me too, but yeah. Gochujang supulgui, the smoky flavor of it can make you be a, addicted to it. Mm. And also, kung tang is clean and nutty. So what kung tang? What? So it's uh, like a, so it's a bean a soup. soup. Bean soup, yeah. Um, that, that's new to me too. I, I've never heard of it before. Kung that looks tang. like a Thai soup. Thai soup? So yeah, it's it like a hot thai. version of kongguksu? Without the noodles? Mm. Oh, that, but to me, that looks like chuotang. Oh, chuotang. Uh -huh. You like that? I like it. Wow, you like everything. I like everything. Oh. Yeah. Oh, mm. What a grown up. What a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Prince Baby. and I are still kids. Yeah. Um, so you like kong tang? I've never tried it before. I feel it's like you would like it if you oh, tried really? it. Kong uh, tang. Yeah, I would like to try it. It doesn't sound appetizing though, like kong tang. Kung tang. It's, it's a funny word. I've yeah, never heard it. It's my first time. But yeah, maybe we'll try it today. Maybe that's our food. Oh, Prince, maybe. you down? Not really, but <laughs> yeah. I'm down for one bite. Yeah, same. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, what is our topic for today's quiz? And what is our food prize for the mukbang section? Please. So we, I, we have five quizzes. Well, five questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. About okay. the celebrities and their hometown. Okay. Oh, okay. And the prize is ice cream. Ice what? what? Ice cream? Ice cream. Yes. It's called Jeju Udo Tangkong ah. ice cream. Jeju Udo, Udo peanut ice cream. Udo is famous for peanuts. Really? Udo the island. Oh, yes. I love okay. ice cream. I know you do. <laughs> it's and, perfect and for apparently. you. Yeah. We got to beat it. We got to win today. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, so five questions. Let's begin. Uh, which of the following idol members is not from <laughs> Goyang, Gyeonggi-do province? Uh, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Dio of EXO, Yoon Do Jun of Highlight, RM of BTS, Juhan of <gasps> Monster X. Oh, oh my God. God. Where this is Goyang, though? We talked about this a few weeks ago. Yeah, oh. Goyang. 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 Where is Goyang? Gyeonggi-do Goyang. Gyeonggi -do Goyang so, Ilsan, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Huh? Oh, wait, 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 what? <laughs> no, I was just testing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be no, like no, a no, hint. No, no. Like, no. this is hard. I wonder if any of our listeners know this. Remember, <laughs> it was the Koyang Koyangi. Oh, the Koyang cat Koyangi. Yeah, yeah, Koyang. yeah. That's yes. right. Koyang Koyangi. Um, Chompu mentioned that. Um, so we're just gonna have to take a wild guess on this. <sighs> Dio of XO, Yoon Do Jun of Highlight, RM of BTS, Chuan of Monster X, who is not from Koyang. How do we know? <laughs> uh, it, it's just a guessing game, I guess. Okay, okay. Um, I think it's, it's number three. Number three. three. RM? Yeah, someone said it in the chat. Like, no, they said one, three, four. 
Oh, <laughs> one, three, four. Uh. <laughs> so we just gotta take a guess. Um, uh, okay, I'll go for three. Three? Right. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Three! three. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. It's way too hard. What's the answer? Um, to, uh, Chuhan of Monster X. So oh. the rest of them are from Koyang, and Chuhan is from Bundang. Bundang. Ah, nice. Okay, four uh-huh. more questions. <laughs> we gotta get at These least three right. Okay, next question, please. Next question. Name the hometown of these celebrities. Actress Ko Dushim, So You of Sister, <laughs> Seung Wan of Seventeen. This is name, easy. Name the hometown? Wait, home it's town? easy? She says it's easy. Why How? it's easy? I, maybe because it's Seoul? Wait, wait. No, Soyu? Does she have an accent? Does she have a dialect? Does she a use dialect? Busan? No, uh, wait, um, Busan Gwan? Does he have Busan Saturi? Does he have Saturi? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, uh, think about the drama that Kodushin was in recently. Oh, oh it's Jeju-do. Jeju-do? Yes. Okay, let's One, go for two, it. One, two, three. Jeju-do! Jeju-do! Oh. Yay! How did you know? Oh, oh cause it's the drama R Blues. Uri Dura Blues? Ah. Oh, Kodushim Nim comes out in that. And ah. we talked about that drama before, so. Woo, thanks for the tip, PD Nim. Okay. Okay, it's question number three. Question it's number three is about Jeju-do. Oh. So listen to this Jeju-do dialect and guess what the meaning is. Okay. Um, hang on. Poksak <laughs> Sogatsuda. Poksak Sogatsuda. <laughs> Does well, it mean uh-huh. 수고했어 or ah. So the choice is well done for the day or you know was you just gullible got and got tricked into something. I think it's definitely <laughs> number one. What? I think it's a really? trick question. Uh-huh. Oh, you think it's a trick question? Because you don't want to get tricked. I mean, if you just <laughs> listen to it, yeah. it sounds like you got tricked because mm-hmm. it's like so- you sogatta, like you got, you just got tricked. You think it's a trick question? Poksak sugas. Can you say it again, please? Poksak sogatsuda. Poksak sogatsuda. Sogatsuda. Sugo sugo hesuda. I feel like sugo is something else. No. Really? It sounds kind of harsh to be sugo Right? Is like poksak sogatsuda. Jeju dialect is quite a lot different from I know. Yeah, nor- normal dialect. So I, I think it's number one. Geek Diggy says, DJ Jamie, where are you? Help us with this. <laughs> yes, we need DJ Jamie's help. Um, you, should we go with one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. One, two, three. One. one. Oh. 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 It was oh. a trick question. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, in a K drama with the title Puksak Sogasuda is coming out soon, starring Park Bogom and <gasps> oh. IU. What? Oh. And it means well done for the day. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, um, off, off the wait, this is n- unrelated, but IU and Park Bogom together. <gasps> what a good couple. They, yeah. yeah, they make such a good couple. Oh, wait, they, they're in a re- IU's in a relationship. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But oh. They, they would make a good on screen couple. <laughs> Their chemistry on screen would be awesome. True. Okay, looking yeah. forward to that. Next question, please. Next question. So, which of these star named streets is not real? One, Baekdongwon Street. Two, Sojijeop Street. Three, wow. Songgain Street. Four, Jeongdongwon Street. Can you read the the subtitles? Yes. 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 I feel like Songgain definitely. Yeah. Because <laughs> she Baekdongwon, has yeah. she has a lot of. Um, fans, like yeah. Older generation yeah. fans, and she is a trot singer. Um, Baek Jong-un, I feel like that's po- possible too. Because yes, he's honey. helped so many um, business owners and stores get back up on their feet after COVID. And even before COVID, like Baek Jong-un has helped a lot of restaurant owners and their businesses. So I feel like they would dedicate a street to him. Jung mm-hmm. dong I'm not so sure who that so is. Jung-dong-un? Who is Jung dong the one is a trot singer as well. Oh, then yeah, definitely yeah, he has a street. Um, then he could be number two, right? All trot singers have streets. I don't streets. know. It might be a so trick question. The question 
You have to guess which street is not real. Is not in the location that. Oh, I, oh my gosh! So all of them do have a street, but it's just the location that's different. No. That is. You guys are so mean. So this quiz is way too hard. Wait, Pekjong Street is in Yesan, Chuncheongnam-do Province. <sighs> Sojiso Street is in Yanggu, Gangwon-do. Songgaein is Jin-do, Jeollanam-do. Okay, three is definitely right. Really. I think <laughs> four is okay. Jeon, Jeongdongwon Street in Hadong, <laughs> Gyeongsangnam-do. People are saying number two. Number two. Yeah. Okay, two. we trust our listeners. Okay, let's go with two. Okay, one, two, three, two. two. Whoa! What? So what is the? So Sojis Hop is from Incheon. Oh. oh. So Yanggu, Gangwon-do Province is not his hometown. So that was the. So he has a street one. in Incheon. Um, does he I have a street? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. Okay, amazing. Oh. Yay. Wait, was that all five questions? One more? There's, There's one, one more. more. Okay, one more. One last more one. Yeah. How many of these idol members are from Jeonju, Jeollabukdo <laughs> province? How many? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Taehyun of Girls' Generation, Hwasa of Mamamoo, Yeji of Itzy, Sungyu of Infinite, Pyeongchan of Thick Tone. <sighs> Dude, we just we already got three questions, right? So let's just uh, guess. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's r- let's oh, just, oh. How many of these idols? Okay, let's just say all five. All five? What do you think, Prince? You, I, I, will, I would say one. You want to say one? Yeah. Okay, let's go with one then. Okay. It's one. so extreme. It's like one or five. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, what do you think, Chinyoung? I think it's three. Three. Uh, three is two. One, three, five. Kai Baibo. Okay. And then we Kai Baibo. Kai Baibo. Kai Baibo. Kai Baibo. Okay. Okay. Let's go with three. One, two, three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's check. Okay. Is it one, two, three? One. Uh, Is it five? five? <gasps> you should have trusted me. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. I knew it. Five years of experience in being <laughs> Oh, yeah. Five's yeah. my lucky number today. Okay, well, we got... Four questions, right, out of five, which mm-hmm. means we get the prize, mm-hmm. which is Udo peanut ice cream. So we'll be enjoying that while we listen to Itzy's Icy. Oh, Icy. Hey, hey, hey! Yo. Yo. Yo.
that I might see. I see that I might see. I see that I might see. I see that I might see. Download the Arirang Radio application. Type in A R I R A N G. Arirang Radio on your App Store. Download it and listen to Arirang Radio. 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in Sogipo City. 101.9 in the Daejeon area. Channel 144 on Sirius XM in the US Arirang Radio. Tune in Arirang Radio. All right, so before I ask these boys how what they thought about the ice cream, so there is a street called Soji Sopkil, but uh, it's not in his hometown. It's because he went there to post a picture, a oh. photo essay book called Soji Sopkil. So that was the place where he took the picture. So that's mm. why it's not, it's in Gangwondo, but that's not his hometown. Oh. It's not the reason why it's there. So just to clarify, Ooh. what did you guys think of the peanut ice cream? Wow. wow. <laughs> so sweet. It was really good. Prince, yeah. I heard you had a chocolate fudge um, ice cream before you I came did. here. I did, yes. I love ice cream. I can eat it three times a day. Three that's times it? a day? Okay, four, five. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, yeah. How many popsicles can you have in one sitting? I usually have one. That's very good. Yeah, because I'm like, yeah, I have a conscious. Mm -hmm. So I control your self, myself. Your behavior, yourself. Yes, but I can eat like two pingsus for myself. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I'm just asking because my little brother used to eat the, you know, the pink screw um, mm. shaped uh, yeah. ice creams. He would have five in one sitting. <gasps> five? Really? Yeah. So he <sighs> clearly didn't have self-control, but you do. <laughs> wow. Good job, Prince. Oh, it's really Bye. good. The walnuts is amazing. Hey, peanuts. Ah, peanuts. Sorry. Dunkong. Sorry. Peanuts. Yeah. They're very good. <laughs> it's very nutty. It's, yes. It tastes special, like mm -hmm. a little more flavorful than regular peanuts mm -hmm. because probably it's from it's, Udo. It's from Udo. Mm -hmm. So better peanuts from there. Okay. Um, <laughs> Chompu says, Prince ice cream, eat ton do bogul ko katayo. You could probably have two, two tons, tons of ice cream. Oh, yeah, probably. You're not um, lactose at all. I am. Oh. What? Not not like uh, digestively, but it comes with my skin. <gasps> oh, really? But I don't really care. Yeah, I do makeup anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh. Hey, you should be careful. Yeah. So lactose um, like products makes you break out? Yes. <gasps> not only that, I eat chicken a lot too, and that's probably it. Because it's fried. Yeah, and like everything makes me break out. Oh, it's because oh. you're still young. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Um, Ryung, Ryung says salt ice cream do salt ice cream. Salt ice cream. Salt ice cream. It's really good. Really. You had it. It's like salt ice cream. It's salty. Literally salt. Like yeah. The ice cream tastes like salt, or they sprinkle salt it's on salt it. It's salt mat. So salt it's like, mat. Yeah. Salt that's flavor. That's that's what I think salt ice cream is. What? It's like salty and it's it's really good. It's salty and sweet. What? Oh. Oh, so it's like vanilla Pantan? ice cream with a little bit of saltiness Salt, yes. added. I oh. guess that makes sense because we kind of have French fries or potato chips with vanilla ice cream. It's yes. kind of the same logic, oh. I guess. But then and there's like crispiness from the potato chips and French fries, but it's just salty without anything added. You, you should just try salt. it. Yeah. It's like chocolate when you, you know. Where do they sell salt? that? I don't know. You had it in Korea? No, in Thailand. Ah, in Thailand. I see, I see. Veronica says, I heard Korea has corn ice cream too. Yes, of course. Oksusu mat. Mm. Oksusu flavored ice cream. I love that. Do you like it? Do you yeah. guys like it? Yeah. I like okay. it. Okay. Is it the popsicle? Like, wait, is it? No, it's not. Um, it's well, there are uh, there are different types, but it's shaped like oksusu, the corn, corn yeah. but mm. it's actually the um, the biscuit, like the oh, crispy, yeah. and then inside it's yeah, corn-flavored it. ice cream. Mm. You had it, right? It's good. And it has little pieces of the corn kernels. Yes. So good. Okay. Um, we are having Zoom session today as Ooh. well, so Zoom. let's head on over to Zoom and see who's tuning in today. Hello. All right, hello everybody. Hi. Hello, hello. Woo. Let's just call out everyone's names to shout them out. 
You guys hi, do it. Hi, Michaela. I like how comfortable you are. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> Hello, uh, Sophie. Hi, hi Nanis. Nanis. Veronica. Veronica. Hello. Hi, Tigger. Love you. Alexis. Alex. Uh, Ray. Ray uh, Ellie. Benny. Bear, uh, Miranda. Ghost, Ghosty Chopper. Bear. Yeah, Rabana. Ashley. Shoemaker. Uh, Woo! Yeah. Hello. Ray. Landon, Landon, Bear, yeah, everybody. Ray. Hello. Hi, guys. Okay, so um, who do you want to pick today? Who do you want to How pick about, today? How uh, about... Uh-huh. Is there some new face? Uh, 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 Michaela. Hello, Michaela. Michaela. Hello, Michaela. She seems... She got so <laughs> shocked. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Where How are you are tuning you? in from, Michaela? Huh? Where are you tuning in from? I'm in New Jersey. New, in New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey, East yes. Coast. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. East Coast. <laughs> East Coast. Because <laughs> we've had a lot of West Coast listeners oh, um, yes. for the past few weeks. So mm-hmm. it's nice to see someone from the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Are you from there? Is New Jersey your hometown? No, I'm from a city called Nashville, Tennessee, down oh. south. Oh, wow. Oh, what made you move to New Jersey? Huh? What made you move to New Jersey? Uh, so I graduated last year from university and I started work last year. So I moved to Jersey for work. Oh, oh nice. Work. How are you liking Jersey so far? I love it. Uh, I'm a city girl, so I'm in Jersey City. So I'm like within the... Um, town so it feels like home but mm. uh, I live like right near um, New York so I go there often so it's really nice oh, so jealous yeah because New Jersey is really close to New York oh. um, you said you were originally from Nashville Tennessee what are they famous for do they have like a certain dish or um, something that they're famous for so we're known as the music city mm. so um, it's mainly country music since we're from the South, but mm-hmm. it's a wide branch now. So it's like just music city. And as for food, we're known for hot chicken. Ooh, hot chicken. Hot chicken. Yes. Hot <gasps> that chicken. sounds good. All right. <laughs> um, from the cities that we talked about today or the food that we talked about today, is there anywhere you'd like to visit or something that you'd like to try? I would love to visit um, Daegu. Daegu. Mm. For what reason? Oh. <laughs> Sorry? Huh? Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> uh, I was just saying it's one of my top cities. I want to go in South Korea. Oh. Besides. Oh. Okay, okay. Daegu. A lot, it's nice that a lot of people are interested mm-hmm. in visiting other cities because it's usually mostly Seoul, Jeju, Busan but uh-huh. yeah Daegu it's quite new yeah um. we gotta visit too okay well oh. thank you so much for joining us and enjoy the rest of your evening thank you thank you for coming thank you see you bye soon bye bye okay one more one listener more who would we like to choose I wonder oh. if we pick Ghosty Chopper or Bear if they're gonna show their face or if they're just gonna like <laughs> Do voice only. Maybe. I wonder. How about Bear? They're shy. Bear? Hello, Bear. Hello, Bear. Are you there? Bear. Bear, where are you, Bear? Who are you? Unmute yourself. Talk to us. Reveal yourself. Please. Let us hear Bear. your voice. Oh, he, she's at work. Uh, she's <laughs> at work. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sorry. No. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> okay, please raise your hand if you'd like to um, be... Ooh, Ooh, lots okay. of hands. Um, did you guys volunteer in school? Were you I did not. I hated volunteering. <laughs> People <laughs> pick on me. And like teachers don't pick on me. And then I just stare at them. And they're like, Prince. And I'm <laughs> you like, got to avoid eye contact. Why oh, I can't do that. Oh, I hate, I, I love my teachers. Such a good student. Okay. <laughs> um, should we go with Ray? I feel like okay. we haven't spoken to Ray. Okay, let's pick Hello, Ray. Ray. Hi. Hi. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes we can. Loud and clear. clear. Sick. <laughs> Where are you tuning in from? Uh, Colorado. 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 Wow. Yeah. Is that your hometown? It is. <gasps> Ooh, tell us something about Colorado. What, what is your favorite um, thing? Um, we're really known for Rocky Mountains. Rocky. So people come here to like snowboard and ski a lot. Ooh, mm-hmm. wow. That's cool. 
Yeah, snowboarding. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, how long have you been a ghostie for? Um, honestly, not too long. I'm only a ghostie of a couple weeks. Oh. I have a friend. Oh. We like yeah, a we have a. Yes, um, we have a friend who's watching now. Their name is Mac. Um, they're getting slowly everybody in Colorado into Ghost Nine <gasps> and like making a community out of it. Whoa! Oh, thank you so thank much. You. That's awesome. Thank Wait, you. what made you fall for Ghost Nine? Um, I watched the music video. I think it's Control. Control. And I liked the aesthetics oh. to where we just watched more of them, mm -hmm. and then after like as soon as we knew it, it was like one a.m. watching like funny compilations and stuff like that <laughs> oh thank you wow that's crazy yeah. all right thank making a fan club us. for ghost yeah. nine in colorado oh that's so lovely and you beautiful. guys gotta visit one day yeah. yeah you do we've had a bunch of concerts so far ghost nine has to be the next one. Oh, mm. yes we sure do yeah. yes i hope so too okay well ray thank you so much for joining us what time is it over there by the way um, it's almost midnight. Oh, almost okay, okay. midnight. Uh. Well, hope you sleep. Have sweet dreams about Ghost Nine today, <laughs> and sleep tight. we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Bye bye. Okay. Um. So wow, awesome, Colorado. Yeah, uh, the community. <laughs> oh, I know ooh. your ghosty community. Oh. All right, it is time to say goodbye. Thank you for tuning into our show today with Prince and Chunyang, and we're gonna listen to Love Shot as our last song and say goodbye. But we'll see you guys next week. All right. Yes. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah. It's the love shot.